what is up, what is happening. It is me, Adam, also known as Minnesota Vikings Man 28. And um, one year ago, I made a video talking about my physical and mental health, the history of it, and about the last 10 minutes I talked about what I was going through at that time. And today I want to make a one year update um, what has happened through that year um, and where I'm at now. So um, let's get right into it. Um, oh, by the way, if you want to get up to date, as I said, watch the last 10 minutes of the video down below. So, um, May 25th is when I uploaded it. Um, I was still having shocks and spasms and just incredible head tightening pain um, all across, I mean, this was all across my body. Um, but it would really come to, it was on and off for close to a month. Um, since the video and then it come to a head um it to its worst point in my opinion um on june 27th um this is a hard day to, for, for me to talk about but because this is the closest i felt like i really was i'll say this, I'm, i was, was gonna die like this was this was after a Portugal, Portugal game against Belgium. Yeah, now maybe an hour later or so, and um, I was, you know, a little, ups, you know, just upset about the, the result and all that. Um, and you know, and my, and I, and I was talking, and I mean, I was talking in the. Because the matcha was sort of pinging at that um, time, so it made me feel better, you know, just engage in the in the matcha that was, uh, hap you know, conversation that was happening at that time. So I was doing that, and um, while I was doing that, um, I got a rush throughout my body, and I started to stiffen up almost like paralyzed, almost like, I don't even want to say, like seizure, like almost seizure, like, um, so I start to really panic. Um, so I inch my way, and this is something I do, I did when I had my spasms, electrical shocks, like electricity shocks, and I was, and by the way, I was alone at home when this happened, and the only thing I did could do to alleviate any stiffening was to um, go to the bathroom and take a warm shower and it did um, help with the stiffness the sti like the um, like paralyzing you know stiffness throughout my body but this wasn't a lot of pain um, but it was, like, I literally thought I was just gonna, like, if I didn't, you know, um, make it to the shower or something or do something, like, I was just gonna, you know, fall over, not gonna be able to move and die. Um, and that was very scary. Um, uh, I called, um, home, I called, I called my mom, and she came as, as soon as she could get out of work, um, we didn't end up going to the hospital because I was do, doing, I was in a more, a slightly more, more, more stable condition, still a little, in, a little bit in pain, but, um, still, but I was doing 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 better oh well, I was in the only and also helping was just sleeping through it like after taking the warm shower just 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 sleep so that just so the pain can, can go can go away um, so that was that experience um, it's hard for me to talk about and it got me to some dark places that at any day moment now, like this was a sign, like any day, like 
this can be last. And I'm like, I have to, I have to tell somebody in case, like, I have to t say something in case that day does happen, because it could be any moment. Um, so, you know, um, so I contacted Tom, because if anything were to happen, um, I didn't want it, well, I'll explain through the message that I sent him, so, this was a week or two after the incident, this is the first time I'm saying exactly what I said to Tom, um, because I feel like I need to say, say something in case something happens, so here it is. Hey Tom, this is going to be hard for me to say since this is serious stuff, but I feel like it's important, important to tell you. So on June 27th, I had another big panic attack. I couldn't get the courage to say I had a, you know, a moment that I, like, a paralyzing, like, stiff attack or whatever, like, or seizure, whatever. I just couldn't get myself to say it. So but I just used panic attack um, because I was going through some anxiety, but I couldn't get myself to say it. Like, I was having a seizure-like seizure moment. But luckily, it did not lead me to go to the hospital. And since I've really been thinking, and I fear that if I have one that deep, and I put in um, parentheses, deep breath, takes me out, that I don't want to make you think that I have abandoned you. Um... So if there's ever a time that you don't hear from me for, for a while, however you define that, contact my brother, put his name and his Instagram handle uh, in case he doesn't contact you. I decided to put it here instead of Twitter so future messages don't bury it. And my brother only has Instagram, not Twitter. Um, so that was very, very hard for me to say um it but i felt like it was needed just because like i as i said i didn't want i didn't want to if if, if something happened i didn't and I, nobody heard from me like i know no i i mean i don't I would want I don't, I don't want to make people feel like I ban I, I abandoned them, um, like I don't I mean, I would hope that's if I was gone for a long period of time without me saying, like I was going, I was going to be away for a while. I would hope that someone would you know, um, check on me, so or so and make sure I was okay. Um, but I wasn't hundred percent sure of that at the. At the, at the time um, so yeah um, so that was that moment um, went to and then the following month um, had a very very bad pain in the back of my head almost like a it was like a tightening almost like it felt like a tightening muscle or vessel and I was hearing the worst like I was talking about the blood clots last time so um, I was thinking maybe it could have been that, maybe it's that. Um, went to the ER the second time, only other time. Tests were fine, um, but gave me some muscle relaxer. Um, and um, I went, and I, then they recommended to neurosurge, neuro, uh, neurologist to see if there was any problem with the nerves. Went there, I had a couple, two, three visits. Um, Nerves were um, fine, and then I went to see a, a psychologist um, with the anxiety part, and um, I gotta say, people, if you got if you if you have some problems like mental health problems, you need to just please see somebody like a psychologist or just someone to talk to really helps. I really recommend it, um, and then. Um, I also went for physical therapy for my left shoulder blade. Um, then got some stretches through, uh, through the Kurt, Kurt, Kurt Kenny, which 
as I said, my previous video I went to Curd Center for my for my slight Aspergers, but and then they changed it to Curd Kenny, which they also do uh, physical therapy for. So it's just weird. It's just interesting how that I after like over a decade, a decade and a half or whatever, um, or a, a decade, I was decade something like that. I come back to the same place just with a different name, but for a different uh, problem. So, yeah, so that was that. And then really after psychologists and like some physical therapy, it really, like, really helped. And also the NFL season, since we're getting back, since we're already getting back, about the time NFL season came back, um, you know, that helped me take my mind off things. Um, also a lot of, and you know, all the Vikings games were close, so that helped me with that as well. But also the great supportive friends and family. I could not have done it without you, so thank you um, for that. And I'm just happy to be um, here and alive today. Ever since I would say the end of 2021 to now, um, I've been pretty good. Um, also something I should also say medically um, sort of changed um, that um, eating also um, eating eating schedule as well um, and that was also I think a contrary part because um, I was um, I will admit this that bef um, during that time before that time I think I was um, intermittent uh, fasting because I did during 2020 I did um, pick up some weight and then I was intermittent fasting and that was also I think a contribution um, to me having those symptoms as well because when you have diabetes it's you know um, you know not the best to intermittent uh, to, to do that um, so when I went back to, and so I decided just as that third, just have, have a, like a, that third meal, I would have a very, like almost like a snack, like, um, as a meal. So that helped me become more stable as well. Um, so I did that around the time as well, but like, as well to, um, stop the symptoms as well. So, um, that also could have been a contributing factor. I still don't know the what caused it to what caused my symptoms this day. Was it the you know my the intermittent intermittent like the diabetes intermittent fasting? Was it um, you know what I got my anxiety about? Was it the actual anxiety itself, or was it a combination of everything? Everything probably was a combination of everything, in my opinion. But um, you know. Um, so, um, and the other thing I want to talk about was during this anxiety, I did, um, develop sensory issues and, um, again, and I did like Kobe, what Kobe Bryant, you know, did, I mean, does, did, had a habit of doing is buying his shirt or jersey. As you see, I wore this shirt specifically to, this is one of my, one of my few, still I have is the chewed um, jersey I mean choose shirt and that caused as you can see one tooth to go up a little bit so I do not like if you see my shorts whatever I know some people don't say it I know there's some people that are more upfront about it have said to me do you have but do you have a knock tooth or whatever no it's just up like that and now I'm better with that as well um but now I have to get top braces and get that back down so 10 months they said um and um it should be so that'll be probably about in the draft i should get them off so we're rocking the viking colors uh for the top braces um yeah it's gonna cost a lot of money also that was also something that was very tough um the, the bills um for all the doctors i went to um but luckily managed to pay it all off um, because I mean we have good insurance. But if I was 
20, 26 or older, I don't know what I'd be doing. I mean, I'll hopefully will find my own good insurance by then, but I don't know. I'm just, I just, I'm going to, I don't know. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I don't got much else to say. I don't want this video to be too long and I don't want it to, to up, you know, have a long time upload. So, um, this, that was just an update on my mental and physical health. Um, Thank you all um, for watching, supporting me. I love each and every one of you. Um, and thank you that be, for being that support for me. So, um, yeah, appreciate you. Well, I'm Adam, also known as Miss Vikings Man 28. And as always, Skull.